Howdy, howdy, howdy. It's mid-season report, so most of you have probably seen on our site a small video clip uh, regarding the new roof Desmo. Um, this is a brand new roof helmet. Uh, it works in much the same way as the Boxer, it's a flip up. Um, and it's designed to perform in exactly the same way. The difference is it's a um, polycarbonate helmet. So uh, it's serving a different market slightly. Um, some of you won't be bothered by the fact that it's polycarbonate. Uh, I've often ridden very long distances with the same kind, with the same type of helmet. Other people will just say it's got to be fiberglass for me, and that's it. And I guess generally, the higher speed you ride, uh, the more appropriate fiberglass is because it is a superior material. In most respects it's designed to withstand higher impacts and uh, polycarbonate traditionally is more of a kind of an urban material where people aren't perhaps traveling so fast where their motorcycle is not quite so serious the the uh, ma biggest advantage of the desmo is that it's a single catch operating mechanism like the shark evo line or any other flip up helmet so as well as being able to flip right back, uh, it's also uh, able to be operated with one hand. And obviously a lot of people think this is a disadvantage of the normal boxer. However, there's a good reason for that. It is just not possible in the fiberglass shell to make that one system operating mechanism. Otherwise, somebody much bigger than Roof would have done it a long time ago, which they never have. So, Really this video, despite spending three minutes telling you about Desmo, was really designed to tell you what's new in the traditional Boxer range. And this is, this is what you can buy right now. So the Desmo is still a few months down the line. Um, the Boxer range will continue. They will run side by side. There's no chance of it becoming obsolete or anything like it. In fact, it's become actually more popular in the last two months. So going back to what you can actually physically buy, the top of the range roof boxer helmet at the moment is of course the roof boxer shadow which most people know by now it's definitely the most popular in the range uh, the shadow as you know is a limited edition helmet and you for for your extra 25 or 50 bucks you get additional chrome visor blacked inside pieces and the new vents on the top this system of vents spawned half of the new series for 2012 so the, the helmets that are similar to the Black Shadow are the R range, the V8R. There is no dynamic difference between the V8R and a normal V8. It's just these vents which are the same as the Black Shadow and the color matched um, visor mounting plates. As you can see these are black on black, the same as the Shadow on matte black on black. And if you go to the Boxer R and white you'll see the same thing. White color matched visor mount panels, You'll also see the uh, same more modern vents and the same on the red version of the R. So these technically are the uh, last three colours. Also new for this year are the traditional Boxer V8 range. So these have uh, non-colour matched um, visor mount roundels. They're, they're the traditional aluminium and they retain, most importantly, the older style round events on the top. So the range kind of divides itself this year into the Shadow and the R series color match new vents and basically the new series of graphic colors. The new series of graphic colors are Graphic Orange Devil, um, the Bulldog or Bulldo Bulldog as they call it in France, uh, which is some kind of, I don't know, Asterix comic book hero. Uh, then there is a new pink, Pink Magna. Uh, there is the Anthracite Devil. And then right at the bottom here, we have a new version of the Suzuka, which is called Suzuka <coughs> Graphite or Suzuka Anthracite. These are all 2012 colors, all fully available in every size. 